Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1975. This is Golden Axe reimagined on the ZX Spectrum. It's actually a mod of the original Golden Axe by Probe Software and it's done by Rafał Miazga. He's a Polish blog. So was the Spectrum big in Poland? I know it was big in Russia, but in Russia it was kind of like unauthorized bootleg versions, if that makes sense. Anyway, listen to that. The, uh, this is the 128K version, obviously it's got fantastic music. All this music and stuff right now, and this excellent presentation, is by um, the original, or is in the original version by Probe. I've played this before and featured it in my you know games that I think, for what it achieves, are really quite impressive on ZX Spectrum. It was released by Virgin, in 1989, obviously based, 1990 I should say, and based on the arcade machine, the same name released by Sega in 1989, which I'm pretty sure you're all familiar with. Anyway, uh, someone's brother's been killed, someone's mate's been killed, someone's axe has been stolen, you've got to get it back. Now this is simultaneous two player, if you want, which in itself is also quite impressive. Now here's the thing, the bloke who did this, is he the bloke, that is good music mind. Is he the bloke who did Renegade uh, Recolored and Target Renegade Recolored? Probably, I can't remember. Anyway, let's get into it. Right, so this is a tap file. So it, it was a multi-loader, was it, originally? Maybe not on the 128K, I don't know. I never had it back in the day, because I had a Mega Drive, so why would I have this? Um, redefinable keyboard, one. Keys of Champions, Q up, A down, <clears throat> O left, P right, M far. Z magic and I'm gonna go with Gilius. 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 Now obviously you select player two controls even if you're not gonna use player two, so they can have Kempston and then I would press their magic for them, which gives me power over them. Press your magic, Dave! No, I don't think I will. This is really good music, right? So uh there we go. Happy with your controls? Yes. I believe so. Load again, please wait. But it's a tap file, so it doesn't. Right, Golden Axe, today's greatest. So it gives you an introduction. You know, <clears throat> once we get into this bit, then obviously, does that mean the music stopped? They used to do this quite a lot, didn't they? Anyway, uh, one player stopped. I do not know. Do not know what the difference is in this. Is it recolored? Well, it's a colored game anyway. And this is what I want to say. Whether you like the graphical style of this or not, um, the original version, I should say, I mean, I personally would have preferred a monochromic version of the arcade game, so you could have had more detail and better looking sprites. However, what they do with this, because there's no attribute clash, is a bloody amazing achievement. But yeah, what the difference is, because it's coloured anyway, I don't know. So reimagined, <clears throat> I haven't played the original Spectrum version in about two years. So, um... I guess be on the lookout for anything that's different. Hopefully it's going to jump out right in my face and I can tell. Right, let's get into it. <clears throat> You'll have to excuse me, I've just had a bacon sandwich because it's breakfast and I just got home from work. Because you needed to know that. One. Right. So, health for me, bottom left. Uh, magic, top left. And the other player's health is bottom right. Obviously there is a border around the screen. Now, yeah, so the, the characters look a bit... I don't know, the stuff of nightmares and stunted. But look at the colour. Right, so fire. Backwards and fire. Oh. There you go. You got you got your jumpy forward thing, because that's a real descriptive term. Up in fire is jump. I get a pummeling. Right. Uh, double dash. And then you can you can invent the game rugby before it was invented by a couple of thousand years, possibly on a different planet. Right, I'm just going to try it with my axe, which happens to be golden. So I've won. Let's go home. Because I'm getting a kicking. There was a poke at the start of this game where I could select infinite lives. I'm beginning to wish I had. What the fuck? My axe is shite. 
it's got the range of something that has absolutely nothing range wise okay that kind of got away from me it's like you've got to keep running into them for your axe to do anything and they're ganging up oh i don't remember it being this clunky they haven't adjusted the um the difficulty level have they right yes So yeah, I mean, attribute class aside, uh, issues, uh, the, the graphics, the actual character definition is a bit pant, but yeah, again, no attribute class. Be impressed. I think this character's shit. I can't remember who I played as at last time. Right. Hey, there you go. <clears throat> go, go, little whistle. It's not the smoothest of scrolling, is it? I'm going to dab forward. I'm going to use my magic. I was going to say he's got the weakest magic, but he hasn't. It's Tyrus? Tyrus? I can't remember the bird's name. Go on. Right, doesn't look any different so far. <clears throat> oh, it's going to be a bloody motor. Tell you what, this is a lot better, you know, a lot more effective than um, it is in other versions. My tail whip hitch. I also thought this thing, it's also an altered beast, but you probably already knew that, was a bit cry. Look, look at his beak. Hang on. And my magic is full. So there's going to be to those two blokes with Mackie, not axes, hammers. I'm not sure why we couldn't have music in game. Oh, you bastard! You just have to, you just have to basically walk by it, and you uh, automatically jump on its back. Right. Oh, you shitbag! Oh, it's going to end in tears. Pending. Hey, I got it in mid-air, look at that! Right, where are they? Oh, no, 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 don't go too far. You really do sprint, don't you? Some of this in your life. Okay, he looks like a jelly baby. An old jelly baby. A jelly baby's dad who's been on the sauce and is bitter about life. See, you keep moving forward. That's how winning's done. Sorry. I wonder how many continues I got. Get up! You son of a bitch! Two Rocky Croaks in one gameplay. You're welcome. One more credit! I'll get some of that in your life then. you got to be dead now, surely. No, only one of you. Why are you still alive? Oh, he moves fast for an old, embittered, angry at life jelly baby man with a drinking problem. Shitbag! I'm still not noticing anything different. End of level one. Go to stage, go to bed immediately. <laughs> Only do. Food off the floor. I'm not that classy that I won't. Okay, that's it. Our sworn enemy, Death Adder, is in his castle. We will take a shortcut through the turtle village. That's prison talk for the showers. Right, so what's the difference? Has it got more colours? I mean, it was a pretty bloody colourful game first time around. I'm not noticing. I'm not getting on with these controls. I'm really not. I should have probably played, not for the purpose of this video, to record in this video, but for the purpose of me being able to spot any differences, the original version. I swear it's controls, 
Well, it's janky, but then that's easy to say, isn't it? Got angry little man syndrome, doesn't he? It's, I don't know, I mean, I'm assuming it's the hitboxes, isn't it? So it doesn't really matter if I, you know, pick Axe Battler. They're all gonna have this god awful hitbox, short, blunt attack range. Yeah, that's a phrase. Why can't I go down? Oh, I can now. No, I can. Yeah, I can. Wait. Am I in the river? <laughs> Even when you get an attack in, you don't get an attack in. If that makes sense. Right. I'm, uh, I'm going to reload and I'm going to put in infinite lives because I'm classy like that. Okay, stick a fork in me. I've got infinite lives and I've selected Axe Battler. So he's got more magic. He's roughly the same size. And uh, pretty much plays the same. Yeah, it's a hitbox thing, isn't it? Oh, is that running attack? You can do nothing against it. Where it is, they can against mine. I'll tell you what, though, if there's four characters on the screen now, including myself, that's impressive. I haven't got a hold. To be honest, the fact that we've only got one fire button. Although that didn't really affect it, you know, in the arcade, did it, or in the Mega Drive. If you want to see a really bad version, look up the PC Engine version. It's a CD game. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter what weapon you got, how big your chopper is, they're all shit. Apart from it, unless it's in your enemy's hand. In your balls, medieval bloke. Right. Come on. Again, why couldn't we have music? I mean, they're one to eight key sound effects. They're not a speaker or beeper or whatever. Come on, where's your motor? There we go. Mini nukes. Fucking hell. He's got beans. Oh no, he's got my bloody wagon. I've got it back. No, I haven't. That was weird. Again, then, uh, reimagined. What exactly have you reimagined? The controls? Making them shitter? The difficulty level? Making it harder? Are the characters different? To be fair, right, because I never checked what it looked like before this, kind of a pointless video. But hey, that's pretty much my channel all over, isn't it? Jesus, just come here and get twatted. Is there time? He look, and he's, he's above me. I think I can't hit him. I'm going to have to use my magic. He's on a plane above me. Look. Can I jump up there? No. Really? I have to use my magic. Else I can't progress forward. That's a bit shizen. Did you reimagine that? Look how slow his moves are. These big hammer blokes are going to be bastards, aren't they? Because I haven't got any magic. So again, like, it seems whichever way you're facing, you just hit them. Oh, you hit me! Oh, I should have got the bloody model with the immobiliser. 
See, it, it takes so long to get his second move in. They could call in a fucking airstrike. There we go. You had to bring your mate in, didn't you? Avoiding a blow for this long, I feel like I've truly achieved something. Ow. What? He was facing the other way, and by the time I moved my sword, because I'm wearing my lead underpants, he got hit in. I don't, honestly, I don't remember this being this irritating. Your minus may vary. But then again, I have no idea what they've reimagined. Look, look, see? You should have gone to fencing school, you plum tard. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I've got to kick these annoying little things. Sorry, I wish I could show you more than this, but apparently I can't. I got infinite continues. Technically, I don't need the food. I just need the magic. Oh no, I time. There's no denying, though. You know, like the title screens and the uh, the sort of cutscene-ish. The presentation of this is pretty uh, Jim Dandy. So look, oh, I can go down. So why could I not go? I couldn't go down when I was Gillius Gillius or whatever his name was. Hitbox, what hitbox? And also, when he wants to do that charge, it's kind of, it's, it's very hit or miss. See? I don't want to use my power, power, my magic. I want to save it. These controls are broken to bollocks, man. These controls are, and I'm not blaming my tools, but these controls really are broken to bollocks. It's like you push through, you're too fast. I mean, Jesus, when you get on your motor, you go any faster, you'll go back to the 50s. Yay! What? Oh! Hey, you know, look at her legs! You know when, um... What? You know when those people, like, do pantomime, and they're on horses, and it's actually their legs, or like birds, I should say, ostriches, and it's actually their legs, it's the ostrich's legs, and they have those little weird fake hangy legs on the sides. That's exactly what that looked like, because I needed to tell you that. Maybe it's because it clearly should be played by two people. Maybe it's overwhelming. You know, if there, if you had two people, I'd imagine if you've got friendly fire, right, and there's two people, the speed this thing runs at, I think much damage to each other is going to be done. I couldn't even work out where I was then. Right, you're both dead. Thank you. Didn't know what I'll do without your... Floating, disembodied sword. Oh. It's like you got to kick him. Like nothing else does bugger all. I've topped the magic up though, haven't I? Cooking on gas. Obviously, if I die, I lose all my magic shit, don't I? So, how many lives have I got? I got four. Oh, I've got infinite lives. But do I lose my magic if I actually lose a life? I don't know. 
can't remember. I don't want to use it yet. But if I don't, this is going to be the world's longest gameplay. See, you just stop, you just stop being effective. Three against one, are you not embarrassed a little bit? Just come on, a little bit? You are, aren't you? Really? Yeah, come on, admit it. That's what I mean by, you start to, to, to do the combo, then you accidentally move forward, rendering it <clears throat> completely ineffective. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be the one that shoots fireballs. See, look at, my, look at my pantomime legs. And I can smell burning hair. I can't have broke, oh. No, there's a bloke stuck at the side of the screen. Do you see what? Oh. <clears throat> this game is frustrating. And I lost my bloody wagon because it glitched. See? Look how long it takes. I cannot believe that there's a range where you can't hit them. And apparently, I was going to say, he can't hit me. Oh. I didn't even intend for him to run then. Oh, copycat. How many bloody... dragons are there? <clears throat> I got keep moving around, or they get see they get inside my dragon breath range. Why does he pause on his he pauses on his third hit so bloody long? Oh, again, see you can't. There's definitely, I definitely don't remember the controls being this off. I really don't. But again, if anyone knows what he's reimagined, let me in on the bloody secret. I'm not just late to the party and what it is, I'm fucking next door to the party. I don't need you. <laughs> See, if I can only hit him, But a kick, and I'm not gonna hit him, am I? Thank you. You can fuck off now. Tell you what you should have done, Toy? <laughs> I don't know, I'll tell you what I should have learned to talk. Tell you what you should have done when you reimagined it. It should have made my energy or magic bar much bigger. Right, and that didn't kill you outright, because of course, why would it? So I can't even hit him into the water. Because clearly... Oh, there's the water there, isn't it? Yeah. I'm, oh my God, I'm Jesus. Look. Quick, someone give me four and a half gallons of water. And it's party time. All I'm glad, all I'm saying is I'm bloody glad I put in that cheat code. See, look, my first blow hit him and my next three missed him. Thank you. Oh, this is this is really frustrating. Just for me, not for the purpose of this video, I'm going to have a look at what um, the first one's like, the first one, the original one. 
Okay, look at that. Bonus stage, increase your powers. Well, increase your ability to bloody hit someone would be nice. Oh, look at that. Two. Oh, time out. To be honest, I'm glad because those bits get fucking irritating. Just trying, just trying to trap those people. Uh, the visual on the back of a giant turtle. The turtle takes us uh, uh, south across the sea. Well, we knew it was on a turtle. You told us it was on the turtle. I got scared. That's the one that shoots fireballs, isn't it? No, I can't. I can't get away from him. Oh, this works. Filthy habit. Right, if we know the inherent fault here. Oh, I can shoot him. Okay, oof, making my eyes go funny. No! Facing the wrong fucking way. Screw it. Magic. I mean, from a technical perspective, there's no denying, you know, the lack of battery clash is brilliant. It's just everything else. And I don't remember it being this bad a sack full of shit with the controls. Like I said, he pauses, he misses, he moves forwards. Try to ram him then. Yeah, it's as close as I'll get to a combo. Go, 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 go. Hey, look, he says walk through a wall on the right. Come on, come on! Just let me, just let me get to the end of this level. I mean, is this more colourful? Is that, is that it? I don't, I honestly don't know. But then, if it was, wouldn't it have been called recoloured? Even though it was coloured, I, again, scratching my Scooby. Turn around. <sighs> oh, thank you. Where am I going? Go. Oh no, it's not a door, it's... Come on! That works, I'm just gonna stand here. Right, so... I mean, it's faithful enough in its level structure. Right, we're on the bird now. Bonus stage, increase your powers. Don't give him a book on fencing. Thank God for that. There we go. Uh, we've come close to the vicinity of the castle, but the way is uh, packed by enemy lines. We must blah 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 blah. Can you tell I'm losing interest. Right, skeletons. Okay, that's cool. I would have preferred if it came out of the ground. And if I hadn't played the arcade original or the Mega Drive, I probably wouldn't even recognise that he's a skeleton. Actually, to be fair, it's not that bad. He's Ray Harry housing my ass. Yeah. There you have it, Golden Axe Reimagined, um, a mod for the ZX Spectrum version, originally released by Virgin, but done by Probe in 1990. I cannot tell 
what the difference is. I mean, by all means, if it's staring me in the face, point it out and let me know. Because uh, I, I can't tell. I like that, though. I can just kid him there. Doink. But anyway, as always, uh, sorry for letting this guy out of hand. I was just determined to see if I could spot a difference. I could not. So, thank you very much for watching, persevering, and uh, I'll see you later.